I am Professor S. P. Mankani, Assistant Professor, Department of Mechanical Engineering, Walchand Institute of Technology, Solapur. Today we are going to study projection of pro perpendicular lines. So at the end of this session, student will be able to understand how to draw projection of perpendicular lines. So now the question is given in this particular problem as line a b in front view as well as in top view they are given the diagram so as far as in the front is concerned you are going to be writing it as a f b f and in the top view a h b h in addition to that one one more point is given as c h here the given condition are line a b that is a h b h and a f b f means a h b h and a f b f is already printed on the question paper it is a printed, uh, this is a given condition. Top view of the other line that is BHCH. So this is BHCS. This is a given condition. Now they are expected as, you have to draw the, uh, this C point, locate the C point in the front view as well as to draw the perpendicular line. Sometimes that perpendicular line, they are going to be given as a dimension of the line is also concerned. So now we are going with the, this particular problem. So here, this is a given condition. So here is the x, y line and this is a front view and this one is a top view. So in these two figures, the additional is C point is given in the top view. Here we have to identify the position of the C point is concerned in the front view. So now here you have to draw the projection lines from A as well as B. So this projector line coming and it is going to touch the A H B H in the top view and it is B F is going to touch the BH. This is the projector line you have drawn it. So now then we have to make it here as this is a new X1 Y1 line. Here it is a X1 Y1 line which is parallel to this AF BF line. You have to set the drafter to this line then bring the drafter at a certain position here then you draw the X1 Y1 new reference line. The meaning is that this XY line is a reference line previously the same line you have brought it here and made it to the parallel to this one. So when it becomes parallel to this one, whatever the view we are going to be getting here, that is a true length. In this problem, to draw a perpendicular line to the given line, the one line must be a true length. One line must be a true length. This line we are going to make it as a true length. So that is the reason we have brought it this line. Uh, we have made it this line as a parallel to the x1, y1 line. Means we have drawn this as x1, y1 as a new reference line parallel to this. So this gap you doesn't have any distinction. You can take anywhere as per your convenient. But only consideration as you should have such a distance that you should not overlap unnecessary on the existing line work. So that is the reason I have taken in this position. If you take a bit away, you, you are going to be crossing the uh, diagram. This particular drawing sheet is concerned. To avoid that one, you take in such a position that it should be feasible to get the figure here. So now we have to draw it the projector line. So from AF, BF, you have drawn the projector line on new X1, Y1 line. So now we are going to be identifying the position of this A point as well as B point in this particular uh, position. So here, for completing this figure, you have to refer previous to previous diagram. For completing this figure, refer previous to previous. So for this diagram, this is previous and previous to previous is this diagram. By referring this diagram, you are going to be transferring the position of AH as well as BH on this particular projectors. So now we are going for the measurement of keeping the compass here at this particular intersection point of X1, XY and AH projector line. So it will intersect here. Take it this dimension. So then this dimension is, now we are going to be representing this dimension as a notation given as N. So this N notation point we are going to be taken here this length and transfer the same by keeping the pro, uh, this compass at this particular point. Means the projector line and new X1, Y1 line. It is going to intersect at this particular point. Keep the compass here this, on this particular point and take it this dimension, transfer here. So this is the length of, same as that of this length. You transfer this. So that you are going to be getting this particularly position as this A point here. So that you are going to be locating as a A1 point here. Similarly, we are going for the B point also. To get a B point, you have to refer previous to previous this one. Means for completing this figure, you are referring previous as this one, previous to previous this. So B point is here. 
So keeping the compass at this particularly where the uh, projector line intersect the XY line, keep the compass here and take it this dimension. By taking this particular dimension, transfer the same dimension here. Now just you can observe it, this dimension is, we are given as a P point. This point is given as a P, the length we are given notation as a P. So bring it this dimension and keep the compass here on this particular intersecting point. Then transfer to on this line. Uh, that is a length is we are given as a approximately as a P dimension. You have to transfer on this one. So that you are going to be getting this point as a B point. Locate that B1 point. So now A1, B1 line, if you are going to join this A1, B1 line, it is nothing but a true length because the previous view, the front view line is parallel to the reference line. So that here you are going to be getting as a true length. This is the major requirement to draw a perpendicular line. To draw a perpendicular line, one line must be a true length. Now we have got this as a true length now. For this one, setting the drafter, bring the drafter on this particularly A1 and B1. Set the drafter on this particularly A1 and B1. Then another edge of the drafter is going to be giving a 19 degree angle. So this is a line as a 90 degree line. But the restriction is there as this length is not defined now. This is just you have drawn the line as 90 degree line. But the length of this line is not mentioned at this stage. So now we are going for the length of this one as for completing this figure, refer previous to previous diagram. So here the point CH is given here. So now you take it this dimension as CH. So this is M given the notation as a M. Keeping the compass at the point as on the projector line, if you draw the projector line from here, wherever it will intersect the XY line, so there, from there you have to take it this distance, as if you have taken the same distance as by keeping the compass here and taking this point as horizontally line, this is a M dimension. Now we have to transfer this M dimension, the length of this line is M, we have to transfer on this particularly. Just parallel to this one, just you draw the horizontal line, which is having a dimension as M distance from this X1, Y1 line. So now you have drawn this as a M distance and this is a parallel line, which is parallel to the new x1 y1 line so when you draw this is a m distance line a new uh, this is a m distance line to the uh, x1 y1 the reference line and which is parallel to this x y line so that it is going to intersect the perpendicular line which you have drawn previously so it is going to cut at this particular point this is the point of c1 which is expected in this particular problem is concerned so now this point you are going to be locating as a c1 point so now you got it as A1, B1, C1 is a perpendicular lines. A1 for A1, B1, uh, B1, C1 is perpendicular line. It is a 90 degree line. This is expected in the problem. So what you have done in this up to now is for completing this figure, you are referred previous to previous diagram. If you refer this diagram, you are going to be transferring to this particularly point. So now A1, B1, C1 is a perpendicular lines. A1, B1 is a given line now it is a true length this line is a true length for this one you have set the drafter and then you have drawn this as the b1 c1 as a perpendicular line and this dimension you have taken from the previous to previous as these dimensions so now in this problem they are expected as you have to transfer this c1 back on this particular figure in the front view so that you are going to be getting a position of c1 here also because the position of c1 is not given in the front view only given in the top view so that because of that one you have to project this line in the backward direction. So this is a projection of C1 point. Means anywhere on this line, C1 you are going to get it. Anywhere on this line, C, this uh, CF you are going to be getting it. You have drawn the project projection from the C1, then you are going to be getting C1, CF point on this particular projector. So now you draw the projector from this particular point in the upward direction. It is going to cut this line. It is going to cut it here. So that you are going to get it this point as CF. This point as a CF point, you are going to get it. So join this point with the B, BF point. CF, BF is the position of the line in the front view. Is the position of the line in the front view. But it is not 90 degree. It is not 90 degree because this AF, BF is not a true length. Because this AH, BH is not a parallel to the XY line. The condition is one of the line must be true length. That is what we have made the construction work as here. Then you have taken this as a line as a true length. Then you have drawn this as a perpendicular line. So coming back to this one, join this line as CF, BF. 
CFBF is indicating it as a, I given as a black color here, just for indication as you have drawn the new lines. Initially red color line you are given as, the lines as given conditions. So that now you have got the position of CF. CH and CF is a projector line. So now, based on this one, the additional point is given here, that is the reason you are forwarded in this direction. If supposed to be instead of this point, if they are given the point is CF and they are not given the point of this one, how you are going to get the solution of this particular problem? Question is, instead of giving the CH here, if they are given CF and they are not given CH, how you are going to complete the diagram? So that now, if they are given as this point, they are not given this point. So when they are given this condition, that time you have proceeded the problem in this direction. Figure number one, figure number two, figure number three. So instead of that one, this is that time it becomes as a figure number one, this is figure number two. Then you are going a parallel line with this one xy, the new x1, y1 line this side and the figure is going to be developing this side. Instead of following this side, your figure is going to develop this side that time. So that you are in a position to now understand this particularly how to draw the perpendicular lines. So this is just an explanation I given it uh, about this particularly how you have constructed this line in the wording. You can refer this for the detail, the construction work. Thank you.